Yes. When does it go beyond an experience to exper an experience to evolve? Well, it, the point is that on this plane, you've got to re realize it's a simulated reality. It's mm -hmm. not absolute reality. And there is no limit to the goodness we can perform or to the evil we can perform. Wow. That, 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 well, what that, makes that's us want to do that kind of evil? Well, then? it's because if you understand, you know, in the 10th uh, book in the um, uh, Neil Donald Walsh series, Conversations with God. The 10th uh, it, book? The tenth, uh, tenth of his books. The, he did a series of books. Oh, I didn't books. know it was ten books. I thought yeah. it was only three. Anyway, in the tenth book called Tomorrow's God, uh, it's it, it, it's suggested in there that wherever you see the word God, you replace it with the word life and see what that does to your brain. In other words, Adolf Hitler was alive, therefore he was an incarnation of God. You see the Hamas are uh, an incarnation of God, as so is Benjamin Netanyahu. So the thing is that... We are all the same one consciousness in these different bodies performing these, performing these actions. And therefore, um, you know, ultimately it's God at play, if you see what I mean. Even though it's absolute good and absolute evil, it's the opportunity for us to go to the extreme, which is part of the, part of the learning process. Look, if you've got a universe of diamonds mm -hmm. representing love, and you have one planet of coal, which is most valuable, the diamonds or the coal? Because value is placed on rarity. So this is a very rare planet where this experiment is occurring. And it's part of our growth and part of our evolution yeah. to, to go through this. I've heard what you say, of course, many times, and you've written a book about it, the role of evil in, in human, human evolution, evolution, which was a very good book. Um, and I can see what you're saying, that the friction is required in order for us to move towards wanting to expand our consciousness. Precise, precisely. But uh, for me, it stops at where it becomes perverse to the point of uh, unsacred and, and no longer divine. But that's okay because we can agree to disagree on, on that particular yes, aspect. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I'm fascinated, fascinated about the way you're explaining this. It completely resonates with me when you talk about how these dualistic energies need each other in order to go into, into form.